Hey guys, it's Walker Bears, and welcome back to my FIFA 17 loop pool career mode where we're continuing on in season 5, the beginning of season 5, with the third game here against Crystal Palace. Don't really have anything to talk about. I could talk about the uh, transfer of how uh, it's. Uh, I, a, I talked a bit about that in the last episode, which really was before he actually officially signed. Hi there, everybody. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. But hey. In the commentary box, it's uh, a great view up here, Alan. And Great game, I think, in prospect. Yeah, we've got the best seats in the house and uh, looking forward to an entertaining match here. What can you do? Coming up now, Crystal Palace play Liverpool. How will Liverpool do today? Well, this team has started like champions, haven't they? So the... Them to be at the end of it. But two wins out of two. They have certainly announced their intentions to the rest of the teams in this division. Liverpool, they played really well last time out. And one at home against us. Yeah. Yeah, one nil. And I think they can steady the ship with at least a conversation draw. for this episode will be probably just me talking about the map. Does I take part? Coming to the end of the summer transfer window here in season five. But uh, I have absolutely no targets that I will be pursuing, so I should kick off coming from relatively be a quick End to the window and get the to the next team. game. Mm. Following this Crystal Palace match, relatively without too much hassle. Referee is pointed for a corner for Liverpool. Joel Ward. We're hearing there's a penalty at Goodison Park. Alan McAnally is there. It's a penalty for Manchester United. He's put the ball down on the spot. Can he keep his nerve here? Power, and he's missed it. The goalkeeper gets Readers, a uh, sends it over. Not the ball. a lot to talk about. Played. It remains oh. 1-0. Thank you very I mean, much, Alan. Talking about transfers, or it's okay, but you know, unless I have something solid, I can't really go on anything. Like. There's a rumor that's saying Liverpool oh, bid 88 million for, done very well to clear for that. Mbappe. Well, the assistant has signaled it's a throw. Until I hear something concrete, I do not believe for one second. I don't Continue. believe we're going to spend. They cope with it well defensively. A lot of our budget on a striker when our biggest problems is defense, and we have signed zero defenders. We've already signed a striker in this window. If we. At the pro There's a chance if we're going to sign another striker, I would ask that Daniel Sturridge be gone hmm, before we do that. I mean, because if we do sign another striker, surely he, that's what we're doing. We're replacing Daniel Sturridge. And he's not gone yet, so... have confirmed the deal. It's definitely on, so the transfer will happen. Yeah, I mean, we've been reading about it for quite some time maybe actually I did, there is transfer this a morning. bit of transfer talk that I couldn't can, I, can, uh, I can talk about that uh, I didn't actually get to mention because it hadn't come out yet when I recorded the last episode a few days ago Liverpool rejected an 11 million bid from Napoli for Moreno I'm sorry what one, why did Napoli bid 11 million for Moreno? Like, are they. Are, do they not know who Moreno is? Do they not know he's terrible? Who? That he can't do anything? Mm, he shouldn't even be a footballer? And they're bidding 11 million for him. That, that's 11 million too much. Joel Ward. I'm sorry. Well, He's the building steadily here, God, working away. Awful. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. 
Uh, if you well, that's way, disagree way with that, far. you've clearly never seen him play. David Alaba. Um, there's also a rumor saying that Liverpool might be interested in Galam, the uh, Algerian guy who actually is a left back who plays for Napoli. I mean, this seems like it is a simple fix. We want their left back apparently, and they have bid for Moreno, which we have rejected. Defending that. Obviously, a swap deal is the best idea here. If we are interested in the lamb or however we say the name, I always Some potential in this him, move. But that's, that's just me. He's cleaned up here, hasn't he, with that clearance? Probably a lot of our people because his name Nathaniel is Klein. Nice. I don't know if anyone There's actually knows how to pronounce his name. Jan Kierkoff. He's got it back again from his teammate. Joel Ward. David Alaba. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Comes in with a tackle. That's good support play from his teammates. If we are interested, that will be Liverpool's throw it. I think this deal will, the uh, deal can Continue. get done pretty quickly. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. Putting, uh, sign of better things to come. But into the uh, process. Joel Ward. Three minutes to be added on. I don't know. I don't, I don't know much about the guy. About Napoli's guy. Um, so it's half time. I would hope he's better than Mourinho, but I can't confirm that for sure. The only thing I could possibly confirm is that I imagine he can't work. Not a lot to live up to, has it? No, they've been stale, they've been lifeless, they've been bereft of ideas. Oh boy! Managers will be getting stuck into their place. It would take some. Massive pile of shit for him to be worse. And considering Napoli are const have been pretty constant in the top for that. of the uh, Serie A table for the past couple of seasons, they must have a semi defense, which would say that he is a semi decent defender. A quick like I said, I don't know a lot about him. In go, I know goal. absolutely nothing. About him. I pronounce his name correct. Bane so. is the main man for his side. Things I'll have to learn. Well, it is the way the modern game is played, isn't it? This kind deal of is done. Away, and well, they couldn't live with him. Well, if you got pace, uh, as this side have, I can't imagine he's worse. It's a one. I would hope he's not worse. I think it was a game that deserved a goal. Go, now we've got it. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. Crystal Palace, they'll be facing West Ham United away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it. And I am as well. Key. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Here's a chance to attack. That's not a good cross at all. Crystal Pass are determined to, to, to make sure I do not win this game. Yeah, I've never seen the uh, A team be so... The ref blows for the free kick. Herman. Clearly a booking. Like Out comes the yellow card. Well, he reached straight for his pocket. He didn't really so think about it, but I think that's the good call. These days, off your feet like that is I mean, running the risk of the referee taking I'm not serious action. I'm not playing. I'm just, just like tackle, you know, but he just seems like the, I don't know if 
Was there an update recently or something? I don't know. I don't think there was. Yan kickoff. Joel Ward. I can't it's think of it. Crystal Palace. Well, they've got the ball back now in the middle of the field. That's a great interception. What about Liverpool's next game? Stop changing my player, stupid game. I think it's going to be pretty easy for them. Every time I go and run to the ball, it keeps changing the player. Waving quite a few defenders forward. Just going to get that ball into the box, whichever way is possible. They've decided to make a change, and being behind, you can understand that. Key. Here's Williams. Schultz. Okay, it's changing it, and I'm not pressing anything. Keep an eye on the watch because we haven't got that long to go. And the team know that. They can't get too desperate though. They need to keep some sort of routine. It's easy for, for and we have Courtois. remaining minutes. Lump it down the field. Holding on to that position. Yes. Good forward play from them. Manny's header cuts Arigi. He threw on goal! 2-0! Oh, three points in the bag. Get in! He went to smack the uh, corn fly, he completely missed it. <laughs> Just look at the way he's got past these defenders, Alan, and really maximised the situation he created for himself. Well, he did. It was, it was head down and some wonderful balance and footwork to beat a couple of defenders and knock the ball in the back of the net. Wonderful goal. Very nice finish for his third goal of the season. And lovely. Up here and just throw it forward a bit to their next game. Now they're uh, intense football. I was going to get them absolutely nothing. to do better. In fact, it might cost them. Here's my and they for three. Three. Bane is the main man for his side. touch of a maestro to just let that ball trundle on into the net. Yeah, he's having a little chuckle to himself. Crystal Pass completely Shooting fucked up there. That one. They let me get the ball all too easily. The game finally stopped fucking me over. Er. Lovely. He scores his second of the game in his fourth of the season. Given them a comfortable situation here. 3 0 as the game gets underway. The two ooze around the uh, crowd for a three minute add on, which is what we're going to get. Now, Crystal Palace look like a shell of the team they were, they were about 10 minutes ago. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. And that's a win. There's the full time whistle. Three goals. Three points ever. And they drew the opposition onto them. Me. A good game. Spurs beat Chelsea. Man United beat Everton. And Millsborough beat Swansea. So Chelsea's bad start to the season continues. They're still bottom of the league. And uh, the two teams that it look like will uh, be my biggest competition this season. Manchester United and Spurs keep pace with me. In these early doors of the season.
early days, I should say. Like I said, there's nothing really I interested in. I don't really have a uh, player I'm going to seek out. Wait, what? Spurs bought Jones. Why did they do that? I bet even Manchester United fans would be like, wait, what? That makes no fucking sense. All three of the top deals included Juventus in one way or another. Hmm. Oh, for God's sake, who is it? Feyor. Which Feyor is that? Gillis Feyor? I think that's the goalkeeper? Is it? Yeah, it is. Damn it. That means for the next two months, the font will pull double duty in terms of the uh, second teams. He'll play on both because, well... Huh. Hello? I thought the game was after freezing on me. I was legit worried there for a second. Oh well, I'm sure he won't mind. It's more game time for him. Really? I'll keep an eye on this guy. See if he uh, improves with a little more uh, updates from the scout. Training session. No, I do not want to take money out. Uh, there's a uh, international break, isn't there? This is why someone got taken out. I think it was... Um, I'll uh, get my man up to 81. 
Look, and the Van Bergen, he can go up to 78. LeBlanc is almost there. Look at that. His ball control and dribbling are practically 100. I don't know what. <laughs> like, if I didn't know I had gotten him as a scouted player, I would I'd swear he was a creative player. Because that is some crazy ass shit stats. Ecuador. Not interested. Oh, good! <laughs> For fuck's sake. The fun. Look. You won't play in this game, but you have a game coming up here. In fact. Yeah, look. This will be your game. This will be your game. This will be your game. And this will be your game. And there's probably going to be another League Cup game added after the Manchester United one. So, you have plenty of games coming up. Don't even worry about it. So, let's go. Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is Anfield. After a uh, trip. The game today, Liverpool, they play Bournemouth. How will Liverpool do today? Marks to the players because they've concentrated right from the very off in this season. I know there's still a long way to go, but uh, we all expected them to be champions, and they're looking like that in these early stages. Liverpool, they're looking for another victory today to add on to their recent away win. Against Crystal Palace. Yeah, 3 0. Comfortable for them, and uh, they're flying at the moment. I think they'll win again. Well, he's looked the manager at what they need in the transfer market, and he's decided that a strong central defender is what's required. And here he is making his debut. Yeah, uh, really, uh, one or two into the goals, I thought, last season particularly. And uh, in an effort to stop that, he brings in this Didn't player who might just be able to plug some gaps. Their time in the Premier League. This is the Liverpool side. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. David Alaba starts with Nathaniel Klein as the wide defenders. Renato Sanchez plays with Deli Alley in the centre of the park. In attack, Divo Carigi starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. I mean, Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. I can't help that gives looking to recover his form. Any team that comes up from the championship first hope. I mean. With some danger to the opposition. Now. Nobody gave more. All the uh, pundits, a lot of fans, a lot of people didn't give Bournemouth a chance when they initially came up. The argument I heard a lot was their club was too small, which is what a lot of people are saying about Ironfield. I mean, if Bournemouth can survive, sure, Ironfield will be equally as capable. They're actually uh, on the verge of their breaking their transfer records, which they're probably going to do a few times this summer. He went in well. I can imagine a lot of teams are going to break their transfer records during this summer window, maybe a few times even. Because that's just the world well, we. we really strong play in the tackle. We live in. That's how the game is now. Now Sadio Mane. 
Roberto Firmino. Here's a chance to attack. And here's the cross. Shot off. Oh, what a goal from Divo Carigi. That is some way to open the, the, the scoring. To lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. And you look at the defender on his heels and you look at the goal scorer. It's kind of cheap to call that an overhead kick, even though technically it does kind of seem like one. I don't know. Would it be cheap to call that an overhead kick? I mean... So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for Liverpool, number 7, Lee. On to the attack now. Comes in strongly. It was nicely worked until that point, and it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. I don't know. We'll see. Read the play well to I'll look it over again and I'll let you guys know if I, uh, if I Coutinho. If I if it cross it now. Wait. It will go into the middle now. Well, the cross looked good. But it it's not exactly the greatest, but then again, there's it's nothing in, like, well, it's nothing saying they have to be. They defended well. Breathtaking, unreal, or oh, leaping into the air with her, her leg as high as possible, or oh, to smash the ball home. Rule for an overhead kick. It would. The only rule I would think is that it's a kick as you do overhead. Attack here. The shot's on! Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. I don't know. Successful tackle. Well, Liverpool leading. But it's a pretty slender margin at this stage. They've got half-time coming up. And they want to get there with this lead still intact. And in goes the cross. Gonna go out for a throw. Right down by the corner flag. Coutinho. Coutinho. David Alaba. Alaba. Corner throw a little further off the bench. And a sharp restart. This could be a ball for a re. Time for goal. Off the post. Firmino. And that is the worst. Peter out that attack, it's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. I've ever Headed seen down to a teammate. In terms of shots. He's got a score. They have score. Mane makes it for it though, he makes it 2 0. No. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. Looking good with attacking play like this and this goal. Well, the defenders just stood rooted to the spot on the edge of the box, and what a poor one to concede. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. is blown for half time it's 2-0 here it has been the first half well worth watching well the losing team have got to do something for making a change I wonder if that is mostly down to that second goal they made that change at that time. Well, let's go over to the Emirates Stadium and hear from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Arsenal. 48 minutes. You do wonder. You do Max do Allen. wonder. Tackle goes in. 
Arsenal and North. Norwich? Huh, I didn't know they got promoted back. To be fair, I wasn't paying attention to the championship, so. Attacking now. Well, he's pressed him there to run. I Norwich are back. Taken quickly. And it is Lozano. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It's, it is what it is. Wait. Yeah, why, why, why the fuck not? And it's the goalkeeper's ball, quite clearly. A wasted cross. David Alaba. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Mate. Good challenge from a sliding tackle from the defense. He's gotten it back though. Some options now for the Sadio. Pass. Try and find the shot. Found it. Ah! Oh. in trouble here. Took a deflection. Came to read. And I missed. Canales watching the game at Manchester United today from Old Trafford. A goal. It's a goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 65 minutes played. 1 1. Cheers, Alan. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Liverpool take over possession again. Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation Sanchez a well saved Ooh. Liverpool almost finds way into the net yeah, regardless Coutinho Coutinho in now. for me he's tackled oh, yeah. well it's a good challenge this led to a corner corner safely away Barcelona have put out a statement that the transfer is completed yeah it seemed the price was going up every week and it's reached about 55 million so the newspapers tell us we've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a sub here's a chance the goalkeeper exposed and shoots oh and it's over the bar Yeah, that was probably... day, it seems, barring any late slip-ups, they have been the team in control. In quickly. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. Good. Oh, he's through. Good defending. Out of harm's way, out for a throw. Coutinho, and now he's looking for some support. Coutinho! Ah! Oh. That's a corner now for Liverpool. Well, this keeper is pulling off some great saves. Splendid header. Probably not that one, that was kind of... Plenty behind that header as well, I think he thought he'd scored, but the keeper had other ideas. There's only a minute to go. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played about in time. Attacking well here. And the cross coming in. And here's the header. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Good throw. I was gonna say he can start a counter attack, but the referee's like, nah, you don't need the goal. Well, they played very well. Oh, I'll take it there. For two goals, and then there are three points. Manchester United beat Brighton, so that just means. They keep up with me. I'm assuming Spurs will win their game as well.
I come to work. Um, it's a nice like on your day. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day.